All right, so we are asked, as a ship is approaching the dock at 45 centimeters per second, an important piece of landing equipment needs to be thrown to it before it can dock. The equipment is thrown at 15 meters per second at 60 degrees above the horizontal from the top of the tower at the edge of the water, 8.75 meters above the ship's deck. For the equipment to land at the front of the ship, at what distance D from the dock should the ship be when the equipment is thrown? Air resistance can be neglected. So we're given this figure here, which represents the ship being at a distance D away from the projectile, which is 8.75 meters in the Y direction above the ship. So the way, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change that 45 centimeters per second into meters per second velocity of the ship, because that's just throwing, just there to throw you off. So let's see what this, so we got 45 centimeters per second equals 0 0.45 meters per second. Now we got our units correct. So now the first thing, I, the next thing I do is I see what we have. So let's see the velocity here. We have a y component and an x component of the velocity. Anytime you're dealing with uh, projectiles, you really want to break the components up almost initially which the y component is 15 sine 60 degrees which I've calculated to be 12.99 meters per second and then similarly we have 15 cosine 60 degrees which equals 7.5 meters per second. You can check the calculations if you'd like those should be correct. Our x initial position is 0 because we start at the zero point here and we finish at D. Our X final will be D. Our Y initial is 8.75 meters. Our Y final will be zero meters. Because remember, we're starting at 8.75. We're going up. We're going to make a trial and we're going to hit this D point right there. So that'll be zero. Um, we're also given the acceleration of the ship or I should say the velocity, not acceleration, will be very different. To be 0 0.45 meters per second. And the acceleration in the y direction to be negative gravity, which is negative 9.81. So now we have everything we need to set up to start working on this problem. So uh, one of the things I do for fun is just, you know, check out what kind of kin kinematic equations might help us and we know that x final equals x initial plus velocity initial in the x direction um, times time plus one half acceleration times squared. Plug in some units in, we have x final position, which is zero, or I should say d, x initial is zero, plus we have the velocity in the x direction to be 7.5 times that by time, and we know acceleration here is zero, so that mixes out. So we have an equation here, is distance equals 7.5 times by t. Or we could say t is equal to distance over 7.5. Some good information to have. Um, moving forward, the real equation here that you want to use is, you want to use this equation, but in, but in the form of the y components. So y final equals y initial plus velocity initial in the y direction times t plus one half acceleration t squared. We know y final is going to be zero. Y initial is 8.75 meters. Uh, our velocity we calculated to be 12.99 meters per second. We're trying to calculate time here plus one half times negative 9.81 times t squared. So we're going to use this equation to calculate the time it takes for this for the projectile to go from here to reach distance d. Once we acquire the time, we can find the distance, and then we can see how long it would take the ship to get to that distance, said distance. So what we have here is a familiar quadratic equation. We can set it up as such, 0 equals 
we're going to simplify the acceleration and put it in a no more normal uh, quadratic form. We have 4.9t squared plus 12.99t plus 8.75. We will utilize uh, the quadratic equation here. Uh, negative b, which is negative 12.99 plus or minus the square root of, so we got b squared, 12.99 squared minus 4 times negative 4.9 and times by c, which is 8.75. Bring this all the way over, and this will be all over. 2 times a, which is 2, times negative 4.9. Now, once you calculate this, you're going to get two, two answers. Uh, one of the answers is going to be negative. If you use the positive, sorry about that, the positive will give you, will net you a negative answer, which is not what you want. You can't have negative time. If you use the negative, it will give you a positive answer, 3.20771, which this is what we'd like to have. So that's our that's going to be our time. So t is equal to 3.20771. Now, just in case you didn't know what I did there, if you have the quadratic equation you know, allows us two answers right here with the positive or negative. So we inputted the negative sign to get us 3.20771. So now we'll use our time to input it into our first our first uh, equation that we derived here, which was d equals 7.5 times t. So d, the distance, equals 7.5 times 3.20771, which is equal to, oh, let's see, which is equal to 24. Point zero five seven eight, and that's in meters. So now we have. Well, first of all, what I did here was I used the x component of the velocity, seven point five meters per second, multiplied it by time because we found the project projectile as it moved from the x position with a constant velocity over a period of time to the to the d position here. So now we have, we calculated d, but that's still not our answer because it wants our answer to be in regards of the distance from the dock that the actual ship should be, not just how far uh, we reach the distance, but the actual ship from the dock. So what we've calculated is our distance, d, and now we need to use, we need to do a little bit more work to find out. Uh, where the ship, how far the ship will be out. So the ship has an average or a velocity of 0 0.45 meters per second. The velocity of the ship will 0 0.45 meters per second, and we know that the projectile will be up in the air for 3.20771 seconds, so we'll multiply these values to see how far the ship will be, will need to be to reach that point of distance d, which these two multiplied is 1.44. And now what we have is we have our total distance here. So we have 24.06 plus 1.44, which equals 25.50 meters. And that is the, the answer, 25.50 meters. Uh, just to clarify a few, a few things, now the distance here, use a different color. The distance here we calculated to be 24.04 uh, meters, but this was not our final answer. We needed to calculate this guy here, so it needed another uh, 1.44 meters because it had a velocity. So the ball came. Meanwhile, this guy, the ship, was coming and. Our answer then was 25.50 meters. Hopefully you understood most of that.